TikTok, time to rock. Yo, yo, yo. Good evening. We got the sound check with AP. AP, sound yes. check. Check it. Check, 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 check. What 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 is it? You guys are corny, bro. Who beatboxes anymore? Bunch of cornballs. Can we all just start a launch good for Samir Shape Up? Can we just start a launch good to donate to Samir for a shape up? Can we start a launch good for David Wood to get him some mouthwash? Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. These three stooges have crossed the line. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen some misfit clown circus act like these dudes right here? It's over, guys. So look, I, I want to give you a huge disclaimer from the go of this video, guys. Like, you know, I'm going to say some things that I'm not proud of. Language that I feel like I've left in my Jahiliya days. But I feel like right now, I feel like that kid has been bullied. Right, that kid who always gets picked on in school, picked on in school, and one day he finally snaps and decides to stand up to that bully. The teachers weren't doing anything every time they complained, like, yo, he keeps bullying me, but the teachers don't do nothing. The principal ain't gonna do nothing either. So finally, after time and time, yo, stop, yo, stop, yo, stop, that kid finally snaps and just slaps him in the face. Now, unfortunately, that's the only thing the teachers see and that kid probably gets in trouble for it. Uh, completely ignoring all the things that this bully has done for years to this young man. But you know what? It's about that time for me to step up and just say what I need to say to these clowns. You have seen the videos that they're trying to eat the Quran like a bunch of goats. What cornballs. What corn, look at, I mean, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna break each person down. So if you wanna follow along through the timestamps, please follow along, not a problem. Skip to your favorite person that you want me to roast, but that's what's essentially gonna happen today, okay? You know, I'm, I'm a, I, I try my best to be a good person. You know what I mean? I try my best. I try my best to, you know, leave my past before and all the things I've done behind me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm an improved person, guys. I'm, you know, I've changed, alhamdulillah. But let me tell you something. Some of y'all are gonna push me in a direction like these three clowns have that, oh, it's not gonna be SQ from Way of Life, SQ from YouTube and Instagram. It's gonna be SQ from the Bronx that's gonna come out. SQ from New York City, like raised in the, in the, in the areas that you wouldn't really wanna be raised in. Going to schools that you really wouldn't wanna send your uh, children to schools in area. That type of version of SQ is about to come out right now. And I'm just letting you guys know that I'm gonna do my best. If I, if I, if I curse or something like that, I'm sorry. Please don't, if this is your first video watching me, please don't judge me off this one video. Like seriously, like I just, I just need to get these things off my chest. So it's about that time. Under Samir's video, I wrote a comment. I said, you don't want no smoke. You talk all this, all this is all they do. Annoying person number one, annoying person number two, all they do is just talk. Because in real life, they wouldn't say none of this to our faces. They wouldn't. Because they're a bunch of punks. I'll tell you a true story of David Wood. I was there at the uh, debate, David Wood. You cornball. I was there at the debate. You didn't say shit. Nothing, David Wood. All those funny ways of talking about Islam and insulting it. Why didn't you say that to our faces? Why was that just a camera persona that you do? Why didn't you say any of that to our faces? Why? With your ugly ass suit that you were wearing that day. God damn. Damn, and that cheap gel in your hair. Damn, what a terror. Please, with all this money that you've made from YouTube, I thought you could afford a better suit, homie. What is what? That was some ugly attire you were wearing, man. Come on, you know how much money you've made from us? You know how much money? Come on, David Wood. Come on, David Wood. How much money you made from these videos? Be honest, let's, let's, let's show some records over here. How much money are you making from insulting Islam? How many brand endorsements and deals have you got from insulting Islam? Whoever, whoever's endorsed you, or whatever brand has ever paid you any money to be an ambassador for them, shame on them. That's a disgusting company working with a disgusting human being. That's just the facts of the matter, boy. That's just the truth, because you're a punk. In real life, all this, all this stuff that you talk about online, it's like that kid, you know what I mean? You know, they're all in text, they're like tough. Online, they're tough. On Facebook, they're tough. But in real life, 
they don't want no smoke. They don't want nothing with the real world. Online, they're all tough and macho. But in real life, David Wood, you didn't do anything like that. People were trying to talk to you and have a conversation with you. You were running away from them. Why? Because in real life, when there's no script in front of you, when you haven't taken three, four, five hours to prepare something down, you can't really have a conversation with someone. And people got mad at, at Muhammad Hijab. I was there. People got mad at Muhammad Hijab. Oh, he's speaking so arrogantly to David you guys don't know what you're talking about, bro. This dude has made a living. This cornball, David Wood, has made a living off the backs of Muslims. My back hurts from carrying your ass this whole time, David Wood. Like, I'm in pain. Like, I need some hijama right now. I'm in pain from carrying you. And where's, where's our cut, David Wood? You're making so much money off of us. Where's my cut? I want my money, David Wood. Off of Islam, you've been making so much money, David Wood. Come on now. Come on. Jeez, man, you're such a cornball. And you know what? The truth is that people are running away from you. People didn't want to be around you. Not because of your ugly character, your ugly suit, that nasty gel of a thing you put in that thing you call hair. Shouldn't be talking. I'm bald, but it's cool. It's because between you and me, and, I, and this is like a well-known fact, your breath smelled like garbage. God, I didn't want to say it to you, my man, but it's called Listerine, son. You ever heard of mouthwash? My God, it looked like someone just took a dump in your mouth. It stunk. It wasn't, I thought for a second, I was like, what's that smell? What's that smell? You know, you got to smell yourself first because you smell. I'm like, no, nah, it's not me. I smell like Chanel, baby. You know me? No, no, it's not. It's not me. I got to you. Honestly, I thought it was your character. I thought it was your personality and character that stunk. But the truth, it was that garbage mouth. Well, light, it just stunk. Ugh. It was so disgusting. No wonder people were running away from you. I get it. But every time you spoke, it wasn't just garbage that was coming out your mouth, but your breath proper stank, my man. Get a toothbrush, my man. Have you ever heard of freaking, you know, brushing your teeth, a little mouthwash? You're trying to eat the Quran? Please. Please, I hope, please keep eating the Quran. Maybe it might make your breath smell a little better, homie. You're disgusting. Oh my God. Oh, like I think it was pretty, anyone who's at the debate, they would tell you this, your breath smelled like garbage. Like someone really just took a dump in your mouth. Like it was disgusting. You've made so much money off of Muslims, yet you can't afford a nice suit or maybe a nice hairstyling, you know, paste or gel. And then on top of that, your breath smells like trash. Like there's just like, oh, like I'm getting like indigestion just thinking about it. But the problem is with all you people out there, and, and you know, it's not just David Wood and the other two cornballs. You know, you got David Wood and two ex-Muslims. You have this other dude who's like, uh, you know, a, a, a ex. Like, listen, and if you're an ex-Muslim, no problem, bro. If that's what you want to do, you had a crisis of faith, you had an issue, you had whatever your problems was. Okay, cool, do you, man. May Allah bless you, may Allah guide you. Maybe Allah could turn your heart back around. I don't know. I'm not one to say nothing about you, man. I don't know what crisis of faith that you're having. I don't know what issues you're having. But for you to continuously still talk about Islam after you've left Islam shows that you have issues. I'm, I'm talking about Samir, who's a wolf in you know, sheep's clothing, came on one of my YouTube videos once, emailed me once saying, Hey brother, hey brother, I, I would love to have a conversation with you. You look like Ringo Starr from Sunny and Cher or someone. Ringo, you look like one of them cornballs. Look how you're still stuck in the 70s, bro. God, you know how much money you're making off of us? Get a stylist, guys. Get a stylist. You guys look like it's not, and I don't want to, I don't want to insult the creation of Allah because at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you guys. So I don't want to sit here and call you ugly because, you know, Allah has made everyone the way he's made them. But just get a stylist, bro. Get, get like watch a YouTube video. Follow an Instagram page or something that teaches you how to dress. Y'all looked terrible. Samir, have you ever heard of a shape up? God damn, have you ever heard of Shape Up? You got, you got David Wood there, you got Samir there, and you got the other dude who's like, a tra is, he's a transgender? Is it? I don't know, tell me in the comments, is he a transgender? I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know these people, I stay in my lane. You see, I make fun videos, whatever, trying to help uh, Muslims discover and develop their Islamic identity, that's what I do. That's why I do, I know my lane. They know their lane too, because you know why, and, and, and this is where a lot of the average people don't understand how YouTube works, you see? 
you are, as a YouTuber, looking for content and topics that people want to watch. Uh, example, you guys, right? What do you guys want to watch? You see me? I just post random stuff and it hits sometimes. But these people have posted stuff that wasn't about Islam. They posted about whatever. No real views. Then all of a sudden, they start talking about Islam and that's when the money starts rolling in. That's when those clicks start coming in. That's when the advertisement starts rolling in. That's where the real money's at. That's where the views are at. That's where the subscribers are at. So what do they do? They build their whole brand around tearing down Islam. Why? David Wood, you're a Christian. Why don't you spend time talking about Christianity? Talk about the good book. Talk about the gospel. Talk about how the you know, Holy Spirit has changed your life. Give some testimonies. Testify a little bit. Testify. Go ahead, do you. I wouldn't stop you, my man. Do that. Testify. Talk about the, the miracles of Jesus Christ in your life. Go for it. Go for it. Tell people. Tell people about the gospel. Tell them. And notice I'm not insulting. I'm not insulting the validity of your book because you know I can. Because that's disrespectful. Do you, man. Talk about your book. But you talk about Islam. Why? Because that's where the clicks are. That's where the clicks are. Come on, bro. You're not fooling anyone. Show us your analytics. Everyone's talking about a debate. You can't have a debate. Y'all are not worthy of debates of anyone. You guys are not at that level. You got embarrassed that Dave, David Wood, and it wasn't because of your trash, you know, like <laughs> breath that you had. It was because you were like genuinely not prepared for that debate. It was, it was, it was obvious. Even people who were not Muslims called it. They were like, David Wood, throw in the towel, baby. Wave that white flag. It was garbage. But it's like, preach your gospel. Why is it that you feel so insecure about your own religion that the only way for you to feel in, like, in fit, like superior is by trying to bring other people down and make other people feel inferior? It's funny. It's funny. Samir. Samir over there. Ex-Muslim. Good for you, my man. You had some issues. You had a website once upon a time. You had a YouTube channel once upon a time promoting Islam. And then you realize one day, I don't believe in this. Okay, bro, do you. You're like that. I don't even know if you're a Christian or an atheist. I don't even know who you are. You're disgusting, whatever it is. And you need a stylist. You need a shape up. You filthy animal. Sound like that dude from Home Alone, you filthy animal. Goodness, you're just trash. You're like that dude who, who you know, like, okay, so you ever see like those people who've like broken up with their ex? They broke up with their ex. It didn't work out. Their ex done moved on. They done got married. They done popped out a few babies. And this corny ass dude is still have pictures of his ex in his room. Still stalking him on Facebook. <laughs> Why? You would say he has a problem. Like, yo, this dude needs to get a life. He's a stalker. He's a cornball. Your ex done left you. Okay, you broke up with your ex. Islam. Okay, cool. That was your ex-wifey, baby. You're gone. Why are you still talking about her? Why are you still talking about her? Do you have nothing better to do? You corny ass dude, you have nothing better to do. It's like, you know what it is? In Urdu, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a, um, there's a saying, right? You know, that's the problem with you, bro. There, there's a bug up your bum. <laughs> you can't sit still. Like, oh my God, Islam? Oh, oh. Meme this out there. That's the problem. You have a kira in you, bro. You have a kira. You just can't sit still unless you talk about Islam. It's always in your mouth, bro. It's always in your mouth. Give it to David. Would you ever trying to eat the Quran? What filthy like people. I wouldn't even call you a pig because that's an insult to a pig, bro. You're tearing someone's book up and doing that? Like, seriously? That's mad immature. And look, some of you might be like, oh, let's look at this, right? That's cute. This is a religion of peace. Look what he's saying. Look what he's saying. Look how he's insulting David Wood. Nah, man. It is a religion of peace, but you're crossing the line. I have the right to defend myself. I do. You can't sit over here and come talk about my mom and say, it's called freedom of speech. It is. But there's something called freedom of speech, but you're not free from consequences. You will get slapped in the face. You'll get popped in the mouth. That's the problem. None of you ever got checked. And this is not SQ threatening anyone. Let me just be clear. This is just letting you know that you've never been checked before. You've never been popped in the mouth. You know, I remember I, I, there was this girl in high school, and I thought I was all cool. You know, I was trying to cut a joke on her, like, oh, yo, who you think you are? Ah, thinking I was fun. She turned around, and she just used her backhand, and she just smacked me in my mouth, like, like this. It was, she didn't, like, pop, pop me, punch me. No. She took the back of me. I don't know if your parents have ever done this to you, that you're just sitting there, and they just pop you so far. It happened so fast. You're like, who did that? Who, did, who, just, who just did that? Right? 
and it just stings you right here in the mouth. You're not crying or anything. You're just like, oh, damn. You've never been popped in the mouth. I remember she popped me in the mouth. I was like, yo, I'm never speaking to this girl about anything again. That's the problem. You've never been popped in the mouth before. Everything you want to say is in public places. Oh, come step up. No one's talking about threats, bro. But you've just never been checked. None of y'all dudes have been checked. David Wood's never been checked. That Samir Ringo Starr, you know, Sonny and Cher dude hasn't been checked. The, the transgender. Is he transgender? I, I'm not sure. He's, tell me in the comments. I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, say something false about the, you know, the brother or sister. I'm not sure. I thought he was transgender. I thought that, so everyone has like a claim to fame, right? So I thought that David Wood is the atheist who went to Christian and uh, Christianity and uh, he talks uh, st uh, stuff about Islam to get popular. And then there was Samir, the ex-Muslim Pakistani dude. And then the other dude who I believe was ex-Muslim who became a transgender, right? I think he became a transgender or she became, I don't know. I think it was a sister who became a brother. I'm not sure. It's just the jawline. It's just, you know, I, I was just like, you know, it just kind of looks like transgenderish. I don't know. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong. That's the problem. None of you have been checked before. None of you have been checked before. Just a little pop in the mouth. You'd stop talking. All you do is this. In real life, David Wood, where was those antics? David Wood, I'm asking you, in real life, why didn't you come to us the way you come to us in these videos, son? Why? Because there's no screen, there's no keyboard? You just, you've been popped. There's no threat. You're gonna, for assault, for doing this to your mouth? No way. Oops. Oops. No. And Samir, cut it out. Cut it out, bro. You're still hung up on your ex, bro. Move on. You don't have any closure, move on. You're a lame. You're a cornball. When they were doing the beatboxing, which was such a corny. How corny did you? What the hell are you doing, you corny ass dudes? And Samir just there, uh huh, uh huh, has no rhythm. You're making Pakistanis look bad, bro. Cut it out. You're an embarrassment. Forget the ex-Muslim ex thing, bro. You are a embarrassment. God damn. You had no rhythm. All right, bro, just do a two-step, you know? Just a little two-step. You know, just a little bop, you know? That was cool. He's just there. <laughs> I don't know. What should I do? Should I jump in? Should I not? You're a cornball, bro. This is what of any ex-Muslim there. If you're an ex-Muslim, do you preach whatever you want to preach. But don't keep talking about your ex. If you if if someone kept on talking about their ex, right? Kept on talking about their ex, obsessed with you would say they're obsessed, that they don't have any closure, that they have problems. That's what these dudes have. They have problems. Samir has problems. The transgender dude has problems. They have problems. They have problems with their religion. Okay, how about let me give you a better example for you fools out there with David Breath breath. All right, come on now. If you used to drink Coca-Cola your whole life, and then someone introduced you to Pepsi. And you started drinking Pepsi. You're like, yo, Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. I wouldn't know. I don't drink that garbage. I don't know. Yo, Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. Okay, now start talking about Pepsi. Talk about all their products that they have. Talk about all the cool things that they have. But you keep shitting on Coca-Cola. Why? It just shows that you miss Coca-Cola. You miss them. You're, you're sad that you left Coca-Cola for Pepsi. You're so sad. My man, talk about Pepsi. Go ahead. Talk about Pepsi in the line of products. Why do you still have Coke in your mouth? You're giving them free publicity because you're not over them. That's the problem. That's the real truth. You have a struggle of faith, a crisis of faith. Bro, if you've left Islam, that's you. Do you. Why are you busy trying to make other people leave Islam? That's your real agenda to all of a sudden be the whistleblower. Wake up, guys. Islam is not really like that. Islam is fake. Islam is this. Why is that, why is that your, your, your struggle? Why is that your mission? Making money, making your brand, establishing your brand off of something that you done left. You're a cornball. Do you not see how that's problematic? Do you not see how that's problematic? All three of you guys have a collective, uh, you know, like YouTube reach or whatever, probably like close to like maybe a million or something like that. You're sitting over there promoting hate? Promoting hate, whatever your beef for Ali Dawa is, that's them. Whatever it is with Muhammad Hijab, that's them. But you guys are corny. Say I'm not right. You guys are corny out there. David Wood, get a toothbrush, my man. Get some mouthwash. We all like, again, you've earned so much money from them and you still haven't gotten some Trident gum? My man, come on.
Get some gum, bro. That's your breath is disgusting. Samir, get a shape up. Can we just start a GoFundMe? A little launch good from a man, Samir? Donate for a shape up for Samir, son? Come on now. Who's calling me? Someone's calling me. Let me answer this phone call. It's more important. Assalamu alaikum. Hello? What's going on, my bro? Alhamdulillah, I'm well, man. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I've been a little caught up. I'm recording a video right now. Yeah, can I call you back when this is over? I'm roasting David Wood and all these clowns. I got you, bro. I saw it. Got an email. You're lucky it broke my chain of thought. 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 Can we all just start a launch good for Samir's shape up? Can we just start a launch good to donate to Samir for a shape up? Can we start a launch good for David Wood to get him some mouthwash? Please, can someone out there just start a launch good to get David Wood some mouthwash? Like, please, guys, for the sake of Allah, for the humanity, please stay, stay inside, sweetheart. I know, Mayjan, stay inside, please. I love you. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door, Mayjan. That's like the ultimate. Can someone out of their feast to be the la start a, a GoFundMe, a launch good for David's mouthwash for him, bro? It's just a, it's a, it's a tragic thing for just people. Like, it's just garbage. No one even knows ya. You think people want to come up to you and take pictures? You're snap famous. You're, every time someone sees you, you're like, who's that, who's that? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? You're a cor you guys are corny. You guys are corny. And someone please correct me if, if the other brother is a trans transgender. I don't want to offend people. I'm sorry. I don't want to like, he might be a transgender. I don't have, you know, may Allah bless you all. You all have to answer to Allah yourselves. I don't know. That guy's transgender. I'm sorry. If I don't know what pronoun to call you, brother. I think brother is now because you want to be called that. I respect that. I'm not going to say I'm going to call you a woman because you're transgender and you were originally. I'm not going to do that. If you want to be called as a male, as a dress as a man, I'm going to dress you as a man, bro. I'm sorry, you know, but someone please, can someone please clarify if he's transgender or not? Just because I don't want to insult anyone. If he's not, I apologize. Uh, if, if he is, I'm sorry that this person's a shame to all transgenders out there. Please, this person's an embarrassment. Same, I don't want to spend time on the on the transgender person because, you know, that's their struggle. That's cool. You know, I respect them. I respect that, you know. May Allah bless you and guide you, no problem. But the message is the same to you. If you're an ex-Muslim, why are you still hung up on your ex? Do you, homies, do you. Just, just, just go ahead about your lives. But the fact that you're not over your exes or you think have to make your brand off of bringing other people. There's two ways to build the tallest building, guys. You could either put in the work and compete and build the tallest building or you could rip and tear down the tallest building so your building is the tallest. And that's what these guys are doing. It's, it's, a, it's a shame. Speak about your gospel. Do you. But you guys are producing these, you know, inbred children. Like amongst each other, who are now promoting and spewing more hate. That's all they are doing. It's kind of sad and disgusting. I think that you guys are genuinely from the heart good people. If you've seen a hijabi woman getting assaulted or harassed in your local public area, would you not stop them? I think you guys would. I think you guys have the decency to stop them. I think that David would, would step in. I think so. I think Samir would step in. I think the transgender person would step in. I think they would. I think they would step in and say, hey, don't do that. That's wrong. I think they would, right? But the bigger shame is for you to realize is that you caused that. You added fuel to that person to harass them. You guys are a bunch of cornballs. I'm kind of done with this. I have a hijama client coming up in just a little bit. I'm going to edit this video up and chop it up and just start it up. You guys don't. Ah, there's no going to be no intro. There's not going to be no assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the youth. There's nothing like that, guys. You guys are cornballs. I need my share of my money. Give me my money out there, all right? You've built Islam off of the... You've built your brands off of Islam. I need my money. I need my cut. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I'm sorry if I said some language that I'm not proud of. I probably censored it with the SpongeBob Dolphin, you know, censor. It was funny. Um, love you all for the sake of Allah. And uh, yeah, sorry if this is your first impression of me. Sorry if you're like, SQ, come on, bro, be kinder. I'm sorry, some people don't deserve kindness. Now, SQ, Ghetto SQ from the Bronx is checked out. Now it's your brother SQ back. And until next time, I'm out.